this poem is called Between Siblings. And um, you'll have to forgive me because it was completely written in two parts because I had to process two different sides of the issue. So here it goes. Mommy, please. It's not our fault that we're only human until you teach us to be otherwise. And that phrase, I expected too much, God, how it stings, but it holds so disgustingly true when you expect us to require skills through genetics. So we pretend we are the biggest fish in our own ponds just to keep our Selves breathing to keep hope alive. Do you know how hard it is to keep believing you're worth something when every failure, every flaw leads to a judgment on your character? You didn't make a bad decision. You are bad. I can tell you don't care about the family because you forgot to do the dishes. Oh, oh, how selfish we are then for having hurt feelings. The little remarks may carelessly to little hearts burn righteous holes in our identity. Mommy, kiss it better. You never run out of magic kisses till it was a cut I made myself. When polar opposite children reach the same bloody conclusion by age 12, you're doing something wrong. And God knows you did the best you could with what you had. You were only trying to teach us to be strong. But when I beamed at you that I'd finally beaten the anorexia and you told me to, you, you, you asked me if I'd proven my point. Damn, I could have done without that one, Mom. And I find myself torn. Like the knee slide trophies of ripped jeans and climbed trees we find we're somehow ripped from ourselves, tattered shards still reaching, hoping to be whole. But there's nothing quite like letting go. To decide in an instant that someone's approval will no longer affect your behavior is the most amazing gift you can give yourself. Don't shortchange destiny by tying it to someone's approval. No hole has ever been closed simply by trying to force the fibers back together. A new piece, change, is required to patch any long-standing hole because the pieces have changed, often stretched and grown and no longer mesh the way they used to and that's okay. Be brave, don't behave, it will all be worth it one night when you can finally fall asleep without questioning the legitimacy of your right to your own memories and decisions. When you can hold the belief that you are right and whole and okay in spite of any words or thoughts overheard in the passionate reprimands of authority figures. And please promise me that you will keep yourself your differences, despite everything they have told us, you are unique, you are valid, and you are worth it. Thank you.